Oh, boys and girls, we cannot mess this up from here. Surely we are six points clear at the top of the league at the halfway point of the season. We're going up as champions. This is just going to be an easy, easy stream. No worries. Just cruising for the rest of the season with no problems at all. This is the situation. We are top of the league. 24 games gone. Six points clear at the top. Older shot of the team six points behind us. There's then a further six-point gap between them and Yeovil. So, realistically, Older shot are the only team that can catch us. We've got 12 points on anyone other than them. And, fingers crossed, they don't catch us. I'm not sure. I assume we still have to... In fact, we play them. First league game of the episode, we play Older shot away. That is going to be absolutely crucial um, as you can see, we've been in some pretty solid form all season, only losing two matches. One of them was at home for Aldershot. The other one was away against Boston and just everything went wrong that day. Uh, but we did stick eight goals past Evesham in the last stream. And we've now got to go away from home against Yeovil in the FA Cup first round. We've just seen uh, the team in third place. Two very big matches to start things off. I'm not sure what the board are looking for FA Cup wise. Um, they're looking for reach the second round. We're in non-league, and their minimum expectation is the second round of the FA Cup. That seems a little bit overexcited. And uh, let's hit continue a few times and get into this game against Yeovil. Hopefully, I'm not going to get punished by... Oh, we don't even have to hit continue. We're ready for it. Oh, past Kev. Friday afternoon. Kev, you're spoiling us. What a man. Um, I haven't actually opened the game since Friday's stream ended. So... I hope I'm not going to be punished for neglecting Football Manager for a few days. I know that happens from time to time. I have just had a crazy busy few days. I say crazy busy. I've discovered the Pokemon trading card game and I've spent most of the weekend um, playing that and messing around with cards. Kev pulled a Charizard. I'm still not completely sure what it means, but it was a very exciting time for all concerned. Um, but this is the team. One moment. Anna! It's FA Cup first round day. Yeah. See? Are you winning? We haven't started yet. We're waiting for you to do whatever you're here for. Um, Can I help you? Is enough time gone past now that I shouldn't have given David? No. I've not oh, God. Oh, God. I Dave the dog. Know. Are you familiar with Dave the dog? It was almost Dave the dead dog. Um, You might have seen on Twitter... I got Anna a, like a kilogram bar of dairy milk for Valentine's Day. Are you helping me? That said happy birthday on because I went to Moonpig, bought her a card and some roses and it said at the checkout, would you like to add a happy birthday bar of chocolate to your Valentine's card and roses? And I was like, well, yeah. You're going to offer me a happy birthday kilogram bar of dairy milk. Then I will take it. So we got that. We'd add like maybe two, two, two slithers each, a le two lengths each. We'd eaten maybe a third of this chocolate bar. We're gluttons. We'd eaten maybe a third of the chocolate bar. Um, and it was just left in the living room. When I don't know, we well, were both out of the room for I whatever reason. And we went back in there and the box and the foil was just shredded across the living room floor and all the chocolate was gone. So Dave had sat there and in the space of like five minutes when we left him alone in the room with this sealed up bar of chocolate. In two boxes and yeah, foil. it was in a foil <laughs> wrapper that was taped down inside one box, inside the happy birthday sleeve. He'd gone in there shredded it all open and eaten all of this chocolate so he'd eaten like 600 grams of chocolate now i know chocolate is supposedly poisonous for dogs but it, this isn't his first rodeo he has eaten a lot of chocolate over the years he just seems to be impervious to it but i've never never known him eat this quantity so we've been a little bit keeping an eye on him making sure he's not dead but at the same time completely ignoring him for eating all the chocolate and just he's being punished he's a naughty naughty boy um so yeah i think enough time has now passed he's had like a 14 hour punishment i think he can probably be allowed to talk to you and he's not coming in here <laughs> but because there's just stuff everywhere i've got half done brand deal on the floor there's just stuff everywhere um but that's fine the whole room's being gutted at the moment there's a there's bin bags, there's boxes. It's all in the process of being packed away. That I can get the new desk in. But yeah, that's what's gone on. And this guy's facing the wrong way. I'm not entirely sure. Is he planning on back healing this free kick? No. He was taking instruction from somebody and he still missed. Because Wooster 
is a superstar. Um, I think we just had another sub come in, but there's there's shenanigans going on in our penalty area. Uh, Banjo Mike is in for 29 months. He's on a 24-month streak. I use Mike as my yardstick for how long it is since I started streaming regularly again. Because for my first three or four years as a creator, I was very erratic with my streaming. But the fact Mike's on a 24-month streak suggests that I've now been streaming regularly for 24 months. Thank you, Yardstick Mike. To be fair, I have done the slow growth course thing. And he does say, focus in on your passions. And I never had a passion for family vlogging. That is a ridiculous goal. That is a ridiculous goal. But we'll take it. We're 1-0 up in the FA Cup. And yeah, I was never passionate about doing vlogs. Um, I kind of enjoyed doing them and they helped me learn how to edit video and it was something a little bit different from Football Manager. But anyone who watched that channel regularly will know how many times I was frustrated or bored with it. I think the financial advice would be more interesting. But I think there's less, less content to do on that. Once I've made the few basic videos... I don't I don't see I've been trying to get the financial advice stuff off the off the ground for the last two months in my head and I can't get a list of more than 10 videos um I've just got a message from Anna what's she saying I spoke to oh it's about Dave I spoke to him and he instantly got up and plopped his head on my knee and he's snuggling me there you go they're friends again now <laughs> really need to train change your training I mean do we talk me through why I need to change my training Oh, we'll wait. We'll wait. Why do I need to change training? This is the job we've talked about all along. This is the dream job. It's the logical prog progression job. This is the not having to move house because we're staying in Coventry job. What do we do here? If this was non to Legend, this is the job we should have got and we should have gone to. Take it, do it. Next timeline. Is that Carol Paborski as in Carol Paborski off of the 90s? Is he Coventry's owner in real life? I need the answer to that before I do anything more. What league are Coventry in? 13th in League One. It's such a logical progression of a job. He's not the real life owner. Okay. But that is Karol Poborski, who played for Man United. Karol Poborski off of Euro 96. Because see, the frustration is we are actually going to get promoted this year. Oh! Obviously, we won't have to decide straight away. We can go to the interview, which we will in a minute. We don't have to decide straight away. Let's go to the interview and see what they say. Karol Poborski, I love it. Hello, Karol. How are you doing? Earth, Earth 3 is forming. Just over here somewhere. Earth 3 is just like, ooh. So the poll on here is pretty pretty clear that you want me to stay at Leamington. Twitter poll will take a little bit longer to kick in because results on there take a little bit longer to kick in. But let's um, let's see what Carol Poborski's got to say. You've previously been embroiled in media controversies. I don't think I have. My inability to cultivate a strong dressing room atmosphere. Are you talking about the Paris Magoma incident that lasted three weeks, four years ago? You're an idiot, Carol. I'll, I'll cultivate a healthy atmosphere if given the job. I'm not going to promise anything. I'm still... This happened a long time ago. I've learned from those mistakes. Yeah, I have learned. We want to ensure the dressing room atmosphere is much better than it was under our previous manager. Can you assure us? Yeah, okay, I, I will promise now. Our previous manager didn't enjoy the best relationship with the supporters. Wasn't the previous guy there forever? Oh, no. Oh, God. So Simon Grayson was there for nearly seven years, but Graham Alexander lasted 150 days. Oh, oh. I will forge a strong thing with the what's it. We parted company of our last manager much sooner than expected. You sacked him, Carol. I do have a proven track record. The club is looking to hire a manager comfortable working with limited resources. Are you familiar with the work I've been doing at Leamington in the same city you were in for the last number of years? I'll do the right thing with the club's money. Spend it all on the never-never! 
that's the right thing to do. The club has been underperforming for far too long. Am I the right person to turn things around? There's one thing I'm known for in my career. It's not being stagnated in one league forever. So I think we'll be fine. How would I feel about working with Chris Fox? Foxy, let's have a look at you. Um, he's not all that, is he? But fine. If you want Foxy to stick around, Foxy can stick around. So, oh, they know what I love. They know the way to my heart. Sign players under the age of 23. I'm not going to play defensively solid football or counter-attacking football. So I'm going to have to negotiate that. I'm not going to do that. And I'm not going to do that. So if that's a deal breaker, then the decision is made. I'm more comfortable playing hardball with them because the poll on Twitter is also saying stay at Leamington. You lot said stay at Leamington. They're not going to do things my way. I don't really know. Do we not negotiate? Is that just, uh, well, I'm not going to do those things. We're targeting a playoff place. Where are you in the league at the moment? 13th. At the halfway stage. I mean, that's doable. Playoffs is definitely doable. Well, I'm going to need more money than that. I will need more. Oh, that's fine. Right. Well, I've made, I've never made those kind of demands at an interview before. It would be really interesting to see if I get offered the job, which I'm probably going to turn down. Eddie Howe is the favourite. Of course, the players are all well aware of where I've been this morning on match day. <laughs> and they're now not going to play for me in our biggest game of the season. This is, this is a, it's a disaster. It's all gone wrong. Was it Harlequins who left London to just move to Coventry and play at the Rico? Which is nuts. Oh, it's Wasps, is it? It shows I know nothing about rugby. Harlequins, Wasps, they're basically the same thing. <laughs> Anyone joining the chat for the first time? Why is it just saying Wasps, 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 Wasps in the chat? I like it. That'll be our new chant if we end up in the Rico. Wasps, 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 Wasps. Oh, what a piece of defending there. Was that Keizu? Has the Coventry move happened? Um, I've not gone to Coventry. No, we, I mean, we still play in Coventry, which is why it's so exciting. Ah, uh, Sherwood's getting sent off here. I've been to an interview with Coventry, but I made some outlandish demands. We have just won, arguably, the biggest game in our history. Um, well, you lot said stay at Leamington. We're nine points clear at the top of the conference. I feel like we've got so much unfinished business here. Let's just check in on what Twitter said as well. Twitter also agrees stay at Leamington. I mean, it's close. I think we will do an Earth 3 save. We'll just put, a, we'll drop down a little save point. Um, we'll call it Coventry Offer. And we'll just save it there. So we've got the option to come back if we want to. Like if we get sacked by Leamington next season, then we can always come back and play on from here. Sorry, Carol. Gotta finish the job we've started here. Right, as much as I would talk about wrestling all afternoon, it's FA Cup third round day. We're at home to Blackpool. This is a massive, massive match for us. Let's go and win it. Let's do it. Oh, good. We're both wearing orange kits. That's going to make it easy to know what's going on. <laughs> um, is this us on the attack? I think it is. We're orange and black. They're orange and white. One's yellow. I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell you which one. They both look orange to me. We're one nil up against a championship team. What is going on? FA Cup fourth round has a nice little ring to it. Ocaronco's in again. <laughs> oh, my word. 2 0 after 13 minutes. And a sellout Butts Park. All 4,000 seats are sold. I mean, most of them are probably standing. All 4,000 tickets are sold. Oh, we've got to earn ourselves a big away day in the fourth round if we get there. We want to be away against Manchester United. 
Oh, I'm afraid. There you go. We've given away a penalty. It's all starting to fall apart. Come on, Wooster. Time for your match of the day moment. I thought he had. I thought he was going to save that there. So there's no guarantees we're getting to the next round. Chang has just rattled the crossbar. <laughs> Look at the XG. We're absolutely not the better team. We've just had a couple of good finishes early on. Come on, we've seen Goodrum score these before. Ooh. It's point eight, is it? Okay, Goodrum's in again here. Oh, Goodrum's in! Goodrum's in! That is a terrible miss. That was... I mean, that screamed. Are we getting a penalty here? What's going on here? What did he get booked for? Why didn't we get a penalty? It's not. It's Goodrum with another free kick. He's already bottled a chance from there by massively overhitting it. He's not bottling it twice. Oh, my word. What a way to make up for a massive miss. Uh, the balls on that man. He's, look at him. He's a broken man, but he's still getting up there on the overlap. Muller finds the corner this time. 4-1 against Championship Blackpool. Might be getting the Blackpool manager sacked. I mean, he's 23rd in the Championship. They should sack him anyway. Oh, Muller's in again. Muller's in again. And that's a penalty and a red card, surely. Second yellow and a penalty. Boom. <laughs> and there's Okorongro's hat trick. And there we go. I think we should probably drop a little bit of praise. We've done all right in this game. This has been okay. This is an acceptable performance. Renew all the contracts before January. It's already the middle of January. And we can't afford to. Or a Blackpool, I'd try a 100k offer for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here you go. They're getting back into it. Oh, imagine if we throw it away from here. I'll be horrified. This would be live on the telly. There's no way that we're not live on the telly in the third round of the FA Cup. Especially because it has... What a goal. Especially because it has potential giant killing all over it with Blackpool being in terrible form in the championship. It's not like we've got a couple of players who are pretty good and they're dragging us to victory. Our fringe players... I do, I'm playing out of their skin as well. We want seven. We want seven. No, we're not going to Coventry. We were offered the Coventry job. We decided to stay at Leamington. And now we've just won 6-2 over Blackpool of the Championship in the FA Cup third round. The greatest result in the history of this football club. It made us decent money as well. We're slowly but surely chipping away on this overdraft. Right, here we go. FA Cup fourth round draw. Away against anyone big in the Premier League. Coventry is still in. That would be fun to knock them out as well. So, Leicester, not, not big enough. That's fine. Filed, no. Man City are gone. We're not going to get them. Blackburn, not big enough. That's fine. West Ham. I mean, that's a big stadium. West Ham probably makes us a lot of money. We'll take this one. That's how you make some money, boys and girls. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, my word. That is one of the best draws we could have got. That clears our debt. We've got £400,000 worth of debt. If they fill that ground, which I guess is a big if, but if they fill the ground for that match, that clears our debt. They play... Oh, they were away. I want to see what kind of attendances they get for FA Cup third and fourth round games. So FA Cup... At home, it's Blackburn. They filled it, but that was Blackburn. I want an example of them playing against somebody rubbish in a cup competition at home. Sw oh, God, Swansea at home. Although it was only the second round of the EFL Cup, they only got 26,000. That would be upsetting if they only got half half the people in the ground. But that'll be in tomorrow's stream. West Ham are 10th in the Premier League. So we're definitely getting knocked out. But we get to go play in the Premier League. We're going to go and play West Ham. 
and it's going to be a wonderful wonderful thing plus we're going to win the fat cup again plus we're going to get into the football leagues with 10 points clear at the top of the national league everything is going right i told you at the start of this stream nothing could possibly go wrong today nothing has gone wrong today very rare that it works out like that